A timely arrival, Guardian. Another egg from my clutch will soon pass by our reality. You should prepare to claim it. It is a strange turn of events that they were cast into the Ascendant Plane. Strange, but not unintentional, I suspect. Ask yourself, who would benefit from such a situation? Who wields the requisite mastery over the Ley Lines? Who has a history of sequestering the Ahamkara to keep them hidden? I said before that I do not trust Marasov. Tell me, do you? She offers you praise and gifts, bequeaths to you a share of her power. Is she so different from an Ahabkara? From me? Do you truly believe she wishes for nothing in return? Know this, Guardian. I have been forthright about what I stand to gain from our arrangement. A future from my otherwise extinct kind. Mara, on the other hand. What does she stand to gain? The Techian's calculations look promising so far. The next egg should be close. Be cautious. The Taken have already gained a foothold here. They spread their influence with mindless fervor. Much like awoken royalty. Wrath of the Queen. This is not your fight. Somewhere out there, a path of doomed Corsair waits for you. I'll be there. They know I'll always be there. You want to help them. You would do anything. I will. Without you.
Absent a commanding will, the Taken return to more basic directives. Their corruption may reshape these halls. Deal with them before the path collapses around us. in our path mock our efforts all while we seek to save your eggs is gloating over the ruin you made of our home worth losing them forever you set the snare then complain that i refuse to lay my neck within it to beg and weep for what you desire that is not in me Such a high concentration of energy will destabilize the ley lines. Destroy it, or our efforts end here.
another egg secured. Well done, Guardian. The Taken aren't the only creatures attempting to thwart us. Riven seeks to entangle us in another loop, to keep us chasing down her clutch while the witness runs rampant. If this is a game, it suits your purposes. Sealing the eggs away, buying time for your broken warlock to cheat me. You have my terms. See this through, or make peace with your fate. You've made excellent progress, but the remainder of the Clutch will never reach us if they remain on their current trajectories. Queen Mara and her Techians once communed with the Harbingers, entities that can traverse the weft and weave of the Ley Lines. Mara's personal Harbinger can bring the Clutch home, but she'll need to guide it with a signal. We need you to retrieve a Starlight Lodestone. It's a channeling medium the Queen can use to signal the Harbinger. All this to help Riven while the Dreaming Halls remain locked in her curse. The temporal loop that binds the Dreaming City could continue to plague the Reef indefinitely. I wish my people could rest. I wish I could aid the trapped Corsairs across our shores. But Riven's curse is just a preamble compared to the final shape. The Witness seeks to finish what it started with the Collapse. And so we remain occupied. And Rhea Sylvia burns. I regret we can do no more to advance your position in the field. But I'll be in touch as soon as the Queen finishes her communion.
ceremonies did I attend here? They weren't all lofty, serious affairs. The lights, the singing. It was beautiful once. Nkasi is slain, until she rises again. She'll go on haunting the Chamber of Starlight forever. Shiro Chi says, if beautiful places cannot survive, why fight at all? I'll have to come up with an answer for her. Bring back the loan. So this is what? The third bargain we've struck with a compulsive liar? Having your back to the wall is never a good feeling. It's so much worse. Being back in the Dreaming City. Now that you remember? I know every inch of it. The gardens, the palace. How it used to be before Riven's curse. I'll... Crow. If it wasn't for me, the curse would never have happened. Riven used you. Used us. Our grief, our desperation. I wanted vengeance more than anything. The truth is, if I thought hiding from my guilt would help anyone, I'd be on the far side of the system. You don't think we're just making the same mistake? Aldrin used to say, if you don't like the odds, don't sit at the table. Trusting Riven is a risk, but without her, we have no way of pursuing the witness. I'd rather risk failing than wait here for the final shape. Right there with you. Guardian, we are coming to the final moments. These choices, these risks, they mean everything. Mara requests that I provide some small measure of insurance should Riven prove too perilous a gamble. I've learned the veil is linked to the Traveler, that this link was not created. It is a primal truth of their existence, uh, a pairing. The witness accessed this link through your ghost. The motions of what it did are written in the Veil's own memory. But like an incantation, without the ritual, the understanding, the words, so to speak, the motions, are useless. 
My attempts to recreate what the witness did to follow it have been inadequate and dangerous. I, I must temper my ambitions. The veil is the power of consciousness made manifest in our physical world. It whispers an electromagnetic language that resonates with our minds. One that can be deciphered, but not by the laws we wield in this universe. It's no easy task. If there is another way to follow the witness, I'll find it here, on Neptune. It will take time, as all things do. Uh, continue to aid Mara, and I will uncover what knowledge I can. Another egg safely retrieved. I may have to make good on my word. Though from what the tech youngs whisper, the rest will prove more elusive. Mara may have to take drastic measures to catch them. All reward requires risk. Mara knows this truth better than most. That is what first enticed me to stay with the Sov siblings. Their penchant for adventure. Their unquenchable ambition. Each of them deliciously reckless in their own way. Your crow hides it well, but I can still smell Aldrin's daring nature on him. Imagine what he could accomplish if only he'd embrace it. Ah, but you. You charge headlong into danger without a second thought. All for the promise of power. I knew from the first moment I set eyes on a light bearer that your kind would change everything for the Ahamkara. And oh, how right I was. <laughs>